I want to welcome you all. Every one of you. We have no secrets. Let us begin by being clear about General Smuts' new law. All Indians must now be fingerprinted, like criminals, men and women. No marriage other than a Christian marriage is considered valid. Under this act, our wives and mothers are whores, and every man here is a bastard. He has become quite good at this. And a policeman passing an Indian dwelling, huh, I will not call them homes, may enter and demand the card of any Indian woman whose dwelling it is. <laughs> Understand? He does not have to stand at the door. He may enter. I will not allow it. I swear to Allah, I'll kill the man who offers that insult to my home and my wife. And let them hang me. I say, talk means nothing. Kill a few officials before they disgrace one Indian woman. Then they might think twice about such laws. In that cause, I would be willing to die. I praise such courage. I need such courage because in this cause, I too am prepared to die. But my friend, there is no cause for which I am prepared to kill. Whatever they do to us, we will attack no one, kill no one, but we will not give our fingerprints, not one of us. They will imprison us, and they will fine us, they will seize our possessions, but they cannot take away our self-respect if we do not give it to them. Have you been to prison? They beat us and torture us. I say they beat us. I am asking you to fight, to fight against their anger, not to provoke it. We will not strike a blow but we will receive them. And through our pain, we will make them see their injustice. And it will hurt, as all fighting hurts. But we cannot lose. We cannot. They may torture my body, break my bones, even kill me. Then, they will have my dead body, not my obedience. We are Hindu and Muslim children of God, each one of us. Let us take a solemn oath in his name that, come what may, we will not submit to this law. <laughs> 